Guys, it's time to fix the broken spring in your GT3C. Yep, it broke. Time to fix it. Take a look. To get into your radio, we're going to have to take these top two screws out right here. We've got to remove the steering wheel and all that. And you're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver and a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench. Before you actually start working on it, make sure you take the uh, battery out. And you just kind of pop out the power button. Then there are two little Phillips head screws you got to take out, and then the whole steering wheel comes off, whether it's this thing or the uh, stock steering wheel, same exact thing. With this loose, you see that, three more Phillips head screws. Now those two right there are also about to have to come out and they use a 2.5 millimeter hex. With all the screws out, you kind of just do this right here. If you're careful, you won't take that loose. That will come off. You can see the spring laying right there and don't pull on these wires too much because you really don't want to break them take your finger right here on the on off button just kind of give it a little bit of a push and see if you can just pop that right out so right here is the actual spring mechanism right here this little piece that's moving right here that's the actual lever that rides in your steering wheel and rises that's how your steering spring works and there is the back of the spring or the bottom of it and now we're going to try to fix this one and put it right back together because chances are you don't have one of these springs laying around with the spring out it's gonna be real hard to show you but right there is where the spring broke so what you got to do is get in that top layer right underneath well not quite there right there with a pair of side cutters and you'll actually bend this out and uh, fix your spring. I've got the side cutters in position and you don't want to squeeze hard but you want to get into it and just kind of bend it up so you start getting this. And then if you have a different pair of pliers, you get a hold of that and just bring it on up. You want it to be, you know, about like that so and that is ready to go back on to get the spring back in place it's going to take some patience maybe some needle nose pliers and here you go now by removing one coil of the spring because you know that's kind of what broke it may be a little bit tighter than what it was before however that's all you got to do to fix your spring cost you no money just a little bit of time and now I can just reassemble it simple easy and free all fixed hopefully this helps you out simple easy fix uh, just basic hand tools and you're ready to go thank you all for watching